a bunch of random things <laughs> were happening um i tried before we left the house and it was raining like crazy so you could hear all the water in the background so i couldn't film in my garage before we left the house and i am actually staying for the week um to watch my baby nephew um as my sister in love goes back to work um, after having the baby so we are gonna be camped out here for a few days um, just to spend time with my nephew and to hang out with them so we're gonna be doing school away from home so I'm gonna be filming some videos here just trying to catch up and such but um, basically what I was attempting to talk about was um, schedule so schedule grace and discipline um i actually wrote up a blog post on all of my feelings on the matter in 2018 and i'm going to put um a link to that blog post i guess it would be somewhere up in this area um so you can check that out if you want to but basically i'm just going to talk a little bit about our schedule it's been so long you guys since i sat and talked to you um, I was trying to take January off to focus and just to really listen for direction on what to do with homeschool and with life and business and things like that. And that's kind of that January break kind of is trickling into February and I'm trying to jump back in. It's like so much is going on and I've been away for so long that now I'm trying to figure out where do I even catch up. So... <laughs> Taking a break in January was everything for me. It's a lot of ideas that I got, you know, fresh ideas that I got. Um, asking the Lord how to bring all of my little bits and pieces together. Um, just really trying to handle my emotions because December was just not so good to me <laughs> and my family in some ways, but then in other ways, um, it was. So now that I'm jumping back in, in order to like grab a hold of all the clarity that I gained in January, I really need to just continue to focus and really like stick to my schedule. So before I went on my break um, in January, I posted a little part of my iCal on my Instagram account. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm Serena B, at Serena B on Instagram. Um, I posted a little snippet of what my calendar actually looks like on iCal. And I was really nervous about that, you guys, because it looks crazy. <laughs> I color code everything. I feel like you can see my whole entire, like, insides out. Um, but it works so well for me. Um, I still have a planner and I still write many of my ideas and stuff down in many different notebooks and all of my tasks for the day on random pieces of paper and stuff. But at the end of the day, um, having my eye calendar is just everything for keeping my life together. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about how I do that. I love it because it syncs to all my devices. And I like it because it is flexible. I basically take all of my tasks, and I think I've talked about this before, I take all of my tasks, whether it's chores and housekeeping, um, business, uh, blogging, um, these videos, um, my freelance work, all homeschool related things, um, I have a schedule and it's all color coded I know it seems really insane and crazy and lots of blocks everywhere but there is definitely a method to my madness what I love the most about it is that I can color code it that I can share it with others that I can sync it to all my devices and um, that I can move things around um, that is a big deal for me because basically I don't stick to any one schedule for the day um 
like hour by hour but the ability for me to be able to move things around as the day moves along and plans change and need to be adjusted has been so much for me in my life in my business life in my home life um and then trying to get other things done on top of that if that makes any sense so basically how i set my schedule calendar up is i take everything that is important to me everything that i want to make sure that i'm moving forward and making progress in and i assign it a color so i have about i have many 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 different <laughs> calendars but they're very necessary it drives my husband crazy because he thinks it's ridiculous but it totally works for me and then i just split up the amount of time that i want to be able to work on those things every week and um, I give it, I assign it a space in my day. And the great part about it is that I can move it around. Um, like I said, if things come up and it helps me to do a better job planning my next day, because um, if I'm looking at it at the end of the night, I get to go into the next day and say, okay, I know I'm scheduled to blog at seven o'clock and I know I want to try and discipline myself to write about motherhood. Then I would go in and if I have an idea about what I want to talk about for motherhood, then I go and add to that event, you know, motherhood daily schedule. Um, so that is not going to be repeating. That's just going to be for that particular event. But for the most part, um, all of my things are laid out in repeating events. And then I just go in and add details as the weeks come up if that makes any sense <laughs> anyway it's working for me and then like I said if something comes up and I am scheduled to do um, I don't know say lunchtime but something else comes up and we end up doing schoolwork for 30 more minutes than normal I just move my lunchtime down and in my mind that really seeing that visually on my calendar really helps me not to feel um all over the place and like i'm behind constantly um i'm trying to discipline myself to stop saying that i'm behind i do that a lot if you followed me for any amount of time you probably know this that i have a really bad habit of saying oh i'm behind i'm not on schedule and for me in homeschool it's not a good thing because i don't know it just it, it made me feel like um I'm not on top of things and I'm not doing a good job. So I'm trying to discipline myself to stop saying that I'm behind. As far as my actual homeschool schedule, you guys know that I've been struggling through our, our homeschool schedule for a long time now. And I am in a really, really good place as far as how we are doing things. Um, the last time I talked about schedule, and I can probably link to that video somewhere up there, but the last time I talked about schedule, I talked about how we were doing a block scheduling, and we still are. Um, but I've refined that even more into something that is really, really, really working for us, so I'm happy about that. Um, and how that basically goes is we, we have a four-day school week. We don't do school on Fridays. Fridays are our free days. We still learn, um, but we get business related things done we get um errands run and things like that um so we just have a four day school week uh what we try to do is handle the core subjects first bible language arts or math unit study reading time and then our elective and then how i've broken that down is our language arts and math are on a block so we do language arts on Mondays and Wednesdays and we do math on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This has really helped me because instead of doing, trying to handle language arts and math each day, breaking it up into their separate days gave me a longer period of time to be able to work on those skills. And that has been really, really helpful, especially with homeschooling, you know, the three different levels or somewhat different levels. So we start each day off with Bible and we try to spend about 15 minutes of our time there. Um, and then we move on to our language arts or math, which is the biggest chunk of our school day, um, which is about 45 minutes from 9.15 to um, 10.30. Now I have it down on a time, a specific time slot here, but like I said, I get to move things around 
and the really good part about it is that the way that it's set up in iCal like um, it serves as documentation for me which is great it lets me know exactly what I'm accomplishing each day so if on Monday we did we just make sure we do 45 minutes of language arts on Monday and so I do have them on a time slot but if I need to move them around I will and it's no problem and then I'll get to look back on the previous week and see that you know we've consistently done language arts around this time or this time or this time and then that helps me to see where I need to make any adjustments because um, my schedule is not suiting me and it's not fitting our natural rhythm. So I'm like forever in this balance between natural rhythm and um, discipline, if that makes any sense. Because <laughs> I've had a hard time with that because I want to give my kids space um, to create, like room to be creative, but at the same time they do need structure and discipline. So this is really helping me achieve that in our homeschool life. So, um, like I said, the language arts and math gets the larger uh, portion of our homeschool scheduled day. It gets about 45 minutes. And then after that, we head into our unit studies for about 20, 25 minutes. And this is where we go over the information that we're learning for the unit that we're studying um, for the time being. And right now, we are currently ending the body unit. I know, we've been on the body unit for like 15 months now. <laughs> But it's just, I knew that it was going to happen this way, especially because of the holidays coming. And then with taking the break in January, um, we just were really slow with our body unit study. And that's okay to me. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so we're ending it off now. But basically, our unit study time is our time where we, you know, get in all of our um, bits and pieces on the unit that we've chosen to study. So after we finish up our unit study time, we move into reading time, and this is where we get all of our reading practice in. This is just sitting down, reading the books that we have um, allotted to read, that we've scheduled or planned to read. So we read library books during this time. This is like a story time. Some they, sometimes they have like free reading time. Um, sometimes I read to them. It's read aloud time. So as long as we are reading, separately or together it doesn't really matter it depends on how the flow of the day is going then um, that's what fits into that time slot after reading time then we move on to our elective now um, our elective lasts for about an hour okay and I split the electives up by day so on Mondays we do writing on Tuesdays we do geography on Wednesdays we do history no science <laughs> on Wednesdays we do science and on Thursdays we do history um, this has been working out really really well for us especially if I'm having a particularly busy day I don't always have to get to those subjects but most of the times the kids are pushing for me to get to them because they know that if we don't get it done this week they'll have to wait till the next week to um, do those things so we're still like learning science we're still doing writing we're still doing geography we're still doing history throughout the weeks but this is our allotted time to be able to give special attention on those particular subjects um, and that has been working out so well for us so far um, then another elective that we handle is art and music and we do that on Fridays so we incorporate that into our school you know, non-school day on Fridays, our work day on Friday, um, it's really not, it's not, you know, it's more part of our life than anything, art and music, and I keep it that way instead of um, having it led by a curriculum. It's the th things that comes the easiest to us. Um, Brian mostly in the music area and um, me mostly in the art area, so we do that on Fridays. But um, this schedule for school has been working out extremely well, and I'm so happy about it. Um, and I actually would really, really recommend it because if you're a visual person, because like I said, with the color coding and everything and the ability to move things around and be as flexible as possible, um, just it's like invaluable for me to be able to look back at the previous week and visually see um, 
how I'm actually, how we're actually falling into what my schedule is supposed to be. Because the goal is for the schedule or routine to serve us and not to be a slave to it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I just really have to protect my heart as a homeschool mom and you can, I can really get into that cycle of just constantly being down on myself. Oh, I'm late again, or I didn't get enough of this done, or I didn't get enough of that done. But being able to, you know, whenever I have those thoughts, I visually go back to my calendar, or I go back to my calendar and I'm able to see, you know what, like, <laughs> that, those are lies. Those thoughts in my head are lies because we got this done at this time, we did this at this time, we did that at this time. It's, and a lot of times it's not going to be what you set out for it to be. At least if you're trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be a traditional um, homeschooler. It's just not the way that um, that I work best. And so in order to try to figure this whole homeschool thing out, this really has been working for me so much. So, um, yeah. <laughs> And then also by being able to incorporate my family calendar and my business related things, it really helps me to see in the grand scheme of things um, where one thing is serving the other. For instance, with the Falco kids, uh, there are some times that I want to do um, photo shoots that are basically what we're doing um, in a little bit of what we're doing in real life. So, um, like I have a shoot plan for some of the science fun related things that we're doing. And so I'm going to try to squeeze in a quick, you know, little photo shoot to get a couple of shots while we're actually doing school. So to be able to use the colors to my benefit to see where I'd be able to handle school and business at the same time, um, is really helpful to me. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys. Okay. Um. Anyway, I think. Okay. I think I hear the kids. Ah, uh, what else did I want to say, you guys? Other than I missed you guys so much, and I'm excited to be back. Um. I have an idea for how I am going to upload regularly. I'm. I also wanted to have. I kind of have new branding coming out to kind of mesh all the different pieces of me together between my vlogging channel, um, this main channel, and my blog, and our photography. I know, it's all the things, but the Lord has really been giving me good clarity and vision on how to make those all fit together. And so I'm currently working on little bits and pieces of branding elements that'll help, you know, make them visually look like they all make sense together um so I've been working on that but for now my schedule is to um try and post Monday Wednesday here and then I'm going to be posting Tuesday Thursday on my vlog channel some variation of that I'm at least going to be doing two videos a week here on this main channel and then two videos a week on the vlog channel and if there's any extra videos that come up during the week then that's a bonus but um that is one thing i wanted to try and focus on as well this year is being very consistent the lord is going to help me be consistent in this space because i want to be anyway um my battery is dying so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so excited to be back i can't wait to talk to you guys and catch up um Hold me accountable, you guys, because sometimes I can back away, you know, because like I've said many times before, social media can just get you wrapped up in, in, in all the wrong places if you're not careful. And so I'm just looking to stay right where I know I need to be and be consistent here in um, growing and building relationships and all that jazz so um thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already i want to know more about you guys schedules how is it coming i know that schedule is a forever fluid thing i feel um but having this iCal has been everything in my you know, homeschool mom, business, all that deal, wife, all that deal. It's just really been helping me. And I don't get my schedule right 100%, but I know that this is the goal and this is what I'm working towards and that makes me really happy and helps me to have peace. So um, I'm just a fan of doing whatever it is that we need to do to keep the peace in our everyday and so this helps me to keep peace i'd love to know how you guys' schedules are working out um i've had plenty of times where the schedule was not working for me so please i would love to know that too like if you're struggling through it like 
I, I find the best inspiration from talking to my best friend who also homeschools and um, we get to just chat it out and figure out like what's working and what can we do differently like let's do that oh also hair I'm gonna be trying out new things I know this one's rather long I like I like it a lot it's just a little bit long so I would like to have it cut a bit I'm just gonna be trying new things because the way my um, after three children hair has been working out my hair has changed so much the texture is different um, it's thinning and so I'm trying to work on that so this the I'm just going to be doing protective styles for as long as I need to to try to get my hair to a better place to a healthier place so anyway in the meantime I'll probably be looking you know different from time to time trying out new hair but I, I hope I can have a little fun with it Anyway, guys, talk to me. <laughs> I need somebody to talk to because obviously I'm just rambling a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye. I'm so excited to be back. <laughs>